Hey guys, Ren here. I'm gonna be talking a bit about the e-collar today. This is the mini educator by e-collar technology. It has a hundred levels, so you can use it like in a lot of different applications, ranging from very gentle to firm. Um, but that is the main reason why dogs do not have a bad association with this because you're mostly not using it for corrections, you're mostly using it on low levels in fun places like this. So they're actually gonna have like a good association with the e-collar um, if it's used correctly. Uh, so I'm gonna be talking about this today and showing you guys a little demo of like how I take my dogs to the beach. I am at the beach and they don't have their um, leashes on. So it, it just has to be a much more controlled experience because you know, uh, there's no, I don't even know who's down there right now. I'm gonna go check it out, but you know, Goji's cool with other dogs and people, but she will, she's, she's big and she could knock someone over. And Kimchi's um, not great with dogs, so they just have to be controlled. So I put them in a down. So if you really work on place, like it translates to other environments. And what does she have, a rabbit or something? Yeah, she's got like a bunny. I've got to be a little careful here. We might even go around the other way, actually. So we're just walking um, another path. I might just put them into a down just for the fun of it. Down. Kimchi down. No, down. Okay. Nope. And I'm using my mini educator. <laughs> it's a little confusing. She's the black button right there. I'm on a level 12. All right, come. Good. Over here, there's another dog. I just, have to, I just have to keep an eye on kimchi. Okay, now they're free. But you know, like with kimchi, like he just has to be, you know, I'm on a level 21 on this e-collar. He's the red button here. He's just gotta be like with me because I don't want him running up to that dog and doing his own thing. Like right when he starts to like lock onto that dog, I'm gonna call him back. And if he doesn't respond, I'm gonna use the e-collar. Hi. Good. So he just ignores. <laughs> yeah, you can see Goji's crazy. <laughs> it's nice with her because she's really friendly and I don't have to worry about like dog fights or anything like that. Um, but she's just so muscly and strong that I just don't want her crashing into people. I mean, the e-collar is like really your tool for off-leash reliability. It's your remote control leash. It's your leashless leash. So it's pretty awesome. The way that you calm everything down is you just keep putting them in those downs. And if they get back up, see we've done the training that they understand when I tap and I say down, I need them in the down. That's because I've paired the down with the remote collar. So then you, you practice that a lot at home, places around your home, um, your front yard, the park, the farmer's market. Now we're at the beach. So it's really, really cool. And now I've got these two guys and um, and especially now that they've been out here a minute and ran around for a bit, they're way more trustworthy than they were before because their arousals come down a little bit more. But because we're doing this with the e-collar, they can run around and have a good time. So anyways, that's all. You guys hit me up if you have any questions. All right, bye. Good girl, come on.